My name is Neil Edinger and I'm a pulmonologist or a lung specialist. I'm board certified in pulmonary and critical care medicine and in sleep medicine. IPF is idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis. That's a disease of the lungs in which the um, lung turns into scar tissue. And it's slowly progressive, highly lethal. About 80% of people who are diagnosed with it are dead within five years. Well, many of the early symptoms of pulmonary fibrosis um, are simple symptoms such as shortness of breath with exertion. And it may start uh, very slowly and insidiously uh, with just shortness of breath doing activities that you used to be able to do quite easily. Uh, sometimes there's a cough, kind of a nagging cough that won't go away. But over time, these symptoms get worse. And so uh, symptoms of shortness of breath usually prompt the visit to a doctor. And that's usually when this is picked up. Well, the I in IPF stands for idiopathic, and idiopathic means that we don't know what causes it. Um, many of us think that some type of environmental stimulus, such as an infection or a viral infection, may trigger the, the um, activation of genes that cause unregulated deposition of scar tissue in the lung. Well, there's no known effective treatment for pulmonary fibrosis. Um, there are many drugs that have been tested and failed. Uh, the drug profenadone, which w has been approved in, in Europe, in some countries in Europe and Japan, has very weak data and the FDA declined to approve it here in the United States. As of now, there is no known effective treatment for IPF other than lung transplantation. We're looking at IPF as a disease not of inflammation in which you would use anti-inflammatory agents. We've tried that and that's failed. Uh, we're looking at IPF as a disease in which the genes that cause the production of scar tissue or collagen get turned on in an unregulated manner. So drugs that affect the production or the unregulated production of collagen are what we're now looking at. So we're looking at drugs that interfere in the pathway of production of collagen. So we have new drugs that are being tested. We have three clinical trials that are ongoing now uh, for the treatment of pulmonary fibrosis. One of these trials is testing an antibody against a human a growth factor, a human growth factor in the lung, a collagen growth factor. This is an antibody against that growth factor that's administered intravenously. Um, we're also looking at a drug, class of drug called the tyrosine kinase inhibitors that have to do with the proliferation of cells in the lung uh, that produce collagen. Uh, it sort of inhibits those cells. These are two drugs that have been untested until these new clinical trials have come about. And then a new trial for profenadone is going to be underway shortly to reapproach uh, profenadone as a treatment for pulmonary fibrosis since the last trial was borderline. Well, I would say that everything, the success of the center has a lot to do with the coordinators that work in the center. They are very experienced, very professional, um, but it's exceptional in the sense that we, we tackle diseases for which there are no known treatments. While we do clinical trials looking for new treatments for emphysema and asthma, we do tackle diseases such as bronchiectasis, pulmonary hypertension, pulmonary fibrosis, diseases for which there are no known therapies or limited therapies. If anyone is interested in taking part in clinical trials here at St. Luke's Hospital, uh, they can call the Research Center uh, at 314-439-LUNG, L-U-N-G, uh, and that's the St. Luke's Center for Cardiopulmonary Research.